This is the smallest one they make. Good afternoon, YouTube. I got something in here. I don't think I've done a video on. I think I've only tinted one of them, so that's probably why. I don't remember. But this is a 2022 Hyundai. Hyundai? Hyundai. Mm -hmm. Hyundai. Uh, Hyundai. Actually, I know I've tinted one of these before. But I don't think I've done a video on it. The reason I know I've tinted it is because this thing's freaking cool. Like, I'm not exactly a Hyundai fan, but if you notice, there is no wiper because the wiper's under there, which I thought was really crafty. I think it's a nice little styling thing having that tucked up underneath in a way. Pretty nice. Kind of, oh look at that, has a soft clothes hatch. This thing's living in 2025, I think. What I really liked is full LCD display. It's got a pretty nice looking radio set up here. I don't know if you can see those gauges, but uh, pretty sweet when you get here. We'll get us a tachometer. Let's see, there we go. And uh, full TFT dash. I don't know what enrollment is. But it's got this really nice looking uh, display here. Push buttons for your transmission controls. Heated steering wheel, ventilated seats, heated seats, center diff lock. This is kind of cool. 360 cameras. I know this is like common stuff on a lot of vehicles nowadays. But I mean, this is a base model Hyundai. Like, what the heck, man? I've had some really fancy cars that don't have anything like this. Like I said, this thing is living in the future. Real, real nice styling and stuff. The way like the vents are kind of integrated in with the shape of the dashboard. I kind of dig it. But I don't think I pulled one apart to show you for tinning. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna assume it's very much like every other Hyundai and Kia. So let's go see Bose stereo. Hey, Mike, my dad's stereo is Bose. Ah, so say your dad's stereo blows. <laughs> you remember that on, uh, on, uh, you need me to pull that or what? Wasn't that Big Daddy? Uh, let me see what it looks like. Uh, you pull, I'll cut. I'm gonna use my my fancy. What 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 was this called? Was it the quick knife? Easy 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 zip knife. I want to use my new zip knife. We're going to see how this works. Try and not destroy. No, yeah, if you want. Spit on it. That was one of our jokes from class. Hooking up the glad hands, the airline connections. Teachers are like, sometimes just spit on it and it'll, it'll go better. And if obviously you get a bunch of adults and you start talking about spitting on it. <laughs> okay, come on, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, very nice. I don't think you guys have ever seen me cut out a windshield before. I always just do tinning stuff. I'm pretty handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. You gotta earn your keep. 
Come over here now and pull down this side. Super exciting. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. Like I said, I got a feeling this is just like every other Kia and Hyundai out right now. Kia Hyundai. Hyundai Kia. Let's see where we can just pull this back. Maybe pop off this if we want to. There we go. Make a little looser in the front. All right. Oh, oh boy. That is new. Hopefully it just popped out, it didn't break. Doubt it's gonna affect anything if it did but let's not let this drop in the door here For all those years of playing operation paid off <laughs> but uh so it does appear this has a clip kind of like the mazdas and the gms where how does it fit in here Maybe it goes this way. It has, I don't understand why, it, maybe, maybe it's a more secure connection, but what the purpose of this little contraption is here. Let's see, it appears, oh, maybe it goes deeper in, there we go. Let's see, can you see what I did? But anyways, has this little two-part clip right here. Um, meaning, if you can, we'll try it on the other door since now we know that that's there. Uh, we'll try to just pull it out from the front and see if that, we don't have to deal with that clip. I, I, I don't know if it's gonna cause any issue or not, but, uh, like if, if that, if you keep popping that off, but, oh look, there's one in the back too. That is different. Front flops. So, uh, but I'd hate to break it. So if we can, and that's what I do on the Mazdas. I, I don't even dig around with the side that, that has that clip. I'll just pull it from the front here and then pull this out we put this in just slide it in be all right we can pop this off if you want um, it'll free up some movement on the top just kind of make a little space pop that off even if we're not gonna release that clip it'll still give just that tiny bit extra sometimes that tiny bit extra is all you need um, and then Let's go ahead and see if we can pop this one from the front. Oops. Memory seats. It's got like a little purse cubby underneath the center console there. This thing is uh, pretty darn fancy. Look at that. Oh, no, no. That's nothing. Never mind. That's just the little like clip for this. All right, so it doesn't want to pull from the front. Let's loosen it in the back without undoing that clip and then just walk it down. 
Let's see what happens. It's pretty tight in the front. I wonder if it has like a normal door panel clip, or if it has something else up here. There we go. I don't know. I think though, uh, eh, that clip popped out, but it didn't fall out. So maybe it's not as bad as like the Mazas of the GMs where it wants to break. Maybe it's just like a little different type of door panel clip. Either way, try not to break it. Let's see. So this one's getting 15 and 40 in our CTX film. Lumar's second from the top. Ceramic film. Be very nice. Apparently they want it to be a little bit dark. This, this family I actually have tinted God, probably 10 cars for them over the years. They come all the way up from Ruidoso, New Mexico to get their cars tinted. I'm guessing there's just nobody decent down that way, or maybe it's just a good excuse to make a little trip. I don't know. So I always try to give them a good price and always try to do a really nice job for them in their kids cars and every time they get a car although they might be in for a surprise next time they go to get their car tinted but we don't need to tell anybody about that I actually have some kind of big stuff going on with the company right now and uh, yeah We'll see, we'll see, Tuesday. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Five days I'll be taking my CDL exam and hopefully passing that and kind of moving on from there. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to get this tent cut and We'll just kind of let the camera roll, see what happens, and uh, I'll come back later. Alright, I just wanted to give a tiny, tiny little check up here. Uh, if any of you are core users for Lumar 
I imagine Formula One and SunTech also have it. Um, I can tell you before I get into this, hold on one second here, that I'm pretty sure these doors are just a, a tiny bit short. So show you what I'm talking about in a second here. Just the front doors. The back doors look like they'll be okay. But uh, if I put this like right on the money on the edge here, let's give it a little tiny bump. We're right on the money on the edge in the front. So what that's gonna mean is you're probably gonna wanna install these with right on the line or maybe even a small gap that nobody will notice so that you don't end up with a gap on the back here. Um, just, I'm pretty sure, we'll know once I go to put it on the inside, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're looking at here. You want to see why I'm retiring from tenting? This shit right here. Luckily, I don't think it creased, but gone will be the days of tent rolling off my peel board and falling on the floor and picking up all the dirt because. I've been kind of lazy and I haven't my oh shit. Well I'm gonna have to make another door glass. Which side is this? Driver's side? It's her fault. She walked near it and fell off. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, so as much as I like Lumar film, and I've mentioned this in other videos, I hate that it likes to roll off of glass. And, and what's weird about it is, now this is a brand new roll, so maybe it depends on how the rolls are on the, like how they're rolled up or something. But it's not all the time, it's just some of the time. They just uh, like to fall on the floor. Let's see, what are we gonna do? Maybe, oops. I was gonna say maybe I'll cut a left hand or right, but. Who is this guy? I didn't even know Josh still worked there. Yeah. Nice. Is it Shishcam? <laughs> Sishku. Sishku. Oh, I forgot I was recording. Oopsie. 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 Um, but yeah, so whatever. There's a new glass. So uh, I don't know, new glass company, but. It's been really hard to get glass. So I don't know the specific number, so you know what they say, 80% of the facts on the internet are made up or <laughs> whatever it is. But uh, I'm gonna say 80% of the glass we get in America. You need a hand putting that up there, Josh? What? Do you need a hand putting it up there or you got it? I think I got it. Okay. Um, 
I'd say solid 80% probably comes from China, but it, have a good day. Have a good Christmas. I probably won't see you again for another year. What? What? Are you gonna be on Talk about you. I haven't seen you in like a year. That's a, so maybe next year I'll see you. Uh, have a good Christmas. Later. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say probably like 80% of glass comes from China. Or at least in, in New Mexico here through various, there's, there's a few different brands. Um, main one we get from like the main warehouse we buy from is called Fuyao, F-Y-G. Uh, they actually started producing in the U.S. So they have like two, they have FYG China and they have FGA Fuyao Glass America took over a production plant in Dayton, Ohio used to be a GM plant there's actually kind of a interesting documentary about it but anyways um, so there's there's FYG is one of the main brands that we get uh, then so from migrant one of our suppliers, it is uh, called XYG, and I'm not even gonna begin to try to say whatever the name of that glass is. Zinyin, I don't know, something. And then from PGW, we get PGW glass. But most of the PGW glass we get comes out of the same factory and it's basically xyg glass badged as pgw although sometimes it's vitro crinamax badged as pgw also you can tell by the dot numbers on the glass most of the time though it's xyg dot numbers and then we buy from a company called pilkington and pilkington has a pretty good aftermarket glass but then they have dot 563 glass also which is xyg's plant um, and that's sold under a brand called trival so all of that i mean fga is american i mean china owned american but at least it, it just comes from ohio um but the rest of the fyg XYG, PGW, and Trival come from China. And if anybody has seen anything in the news for the last year, getting things from China has been a little bit difficult. So earlier this year, one of my suppliers started getting this glass and it's it's called like shish cam or something it's spelled s-i-s-e-k-a-m mike or c-a-m s-i-s-e-c-a-m and uh it's actually from turkey like i was kind of found that odd when when we you know it's not like a, a company you imagine or a country that you hear a lot of like stuff being manufactured in and I guess it turns out that this brand is in like Europe and, and Asia, a uh, pretty large supplier of aftermarket auto glass. Look at this. So see, we're gonna have to bump this just right there and put the world's smallest gap on the front. And I'm hoping this will look all right when we roll it up. I'd really prefer if this was like a quarter inch longer. Even a quarter inch probably on each side would be fine. But uh, anyways, so uh, so yeah, they've, they've started importing this glass from Turkey. I'm not sure if it comes on different routes or what's that? I don't know if I'm going to 
Oh. Uh, terrible joke, Mike. Terrible joke. Joke. Look at that. I mean, the curve is perfect. Everything about this pattern would be perfect if it was like a quarter inch longer. I never know who actually fits these patterns to make sure that they fit, but it's like you almost had it. You almost had it. It seems like if you had one of these cars to test fit them to, it'd be a really easy correction to make. And I know I can go on the computer and I can correct it, but I already cut this tent. And if I go correct it and I don't correct it right in the computer, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're screwing up here now. Come on, baby. Don't do this to me. Glass is hot, so the tent wants to stick. It just peeled back a little bit. And we got a little crease. Tiny little crease. Shouldn't matter. A little heat. It'll go away. It's up in the corner. Um, but I don't know if it's just easier getting stuff from Turkey than China. Um, I will say with like driver assist and stuff, the, uh, come on, there we go. Oh, a little bit more. With the driver assist and stuff, the quality of the componentry and the level of, I guess, accuracy in how the glass is replicated is pretty important so that the cameras will calibrate correctly. Um, XYG leaves some of that pretty desirable. <laughs> like, it's not my favorite glass. If there's anything that has to be precise on a vehicle because they seem to kind of mail it in on the quality and precision. But, uh, you know, sometimes, especially where we're at, if it's the only thing you can get, it's the only thing you can get. But, uh, but this, the shish cam glass really seems to be a little better quality, a little better consistency. Um, maybe it's like placebo effect, right? Like you just want something to be better than, than the China stuff. But uh, FYG, FYG, I'd say is getting to be the best in terms of aftermarket replacements. Most of the time, unless there's any very specific type of moldings that come with the glass, most of the time the glass fits pretty darn decent, at least for windshields. Hey, look at that. Nah, uh, we got... A little bit of a gap, but not so much anybody but me and maybe another tinner I'll see. Um, but FYG, probably, like out of all the brands, my first choice. But if these, and, and Pilkington actually, I guess I'd say Pilkington, FYG, uh, Obviously, Carlex, but Carlex, we don't really have Carlex distribution. Carlex is always really good aftermarket glass. Um, and then, like the PG, or the size cams, shish cams, the XYG, Trival, PGW, and then, Seems like any more lastly, Kernamex. Seems like Kernamex makes some of the worst windshields I've seen. Like this one, these ones always fit really good. A lot of the aftermarket ones, especially like the XYGs, the tops won't line up really well with the top of the car or they'll be a little wavy. And these Shiscam ones, they just, every, I 
think we can come my way a hair, like right there. You got it? For the van? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's my Christmas present to myself. Yeah. It's my Christmas present to you, one of them. Yes, but I need to wrap it. <laughs> oh, I know what you got. Jeffree Star. Ooh. My wife loves Jeffree Star cosmetics. I don't know why. I guess they're good quality. But, uh, but yeah, so. Uh, Carlex first, which Carlex makes Carlite also. That's, or maybe Carlite makes Carlex. I don't know how that works. But uh, first for aftermarket, Pilkington, FYG, XYG Trival, PGW, all even. And then Kernamex. Oh, after uh, FYG, we'll throw shish cam in there. And uh, yeah, so super, super interesting stuff, right? Not really. Let's see. But all right, I'm gonna go back to tinning. Make sure that just doesn't, I wanted to, before I got off track here, I, I just wanted you to see, see the tent falling on the ground. Like, it's funny because it'll be like, right like that. I'll look, nothing. Come back here, do something, look over, nothing. Come back, do a little more. Here, thunk. It's like, what the heck, man? How come when I'm looking, you're not doing anything? As soon as I turn my head, you fall on the floor. Let's get back to tinning.
YouTube friends. I don't even really know what this video is about. Kind of rambled on about a lot of stuff, but super sweet Hyundai, tinted, Lumars, 15 CTX on the front, 40 over the factory privacy glass. Put a nice little 15 visor on it and uh, super sweet car. I'm, I'm surprised. I actually like a Hyundai. Actually, I kind of dig that Palisade too. They got one with a white and blue interior that, that I think's pretty slick. But uh, talked about this uh, new little Hyundai. Talked about aftermarket auto glass brands in my rambling. I don't know what else I talked about. If you stuck through more than a few minutes of it, I apologize. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed seeing me take apart this car, some of the tinning of it, go ahead, give a like, subscribe. I'm trying to bring more fun and interesting things from my shop over here. I'll talk to you later. Bye.